Hey, it's Mike with Holiday Rambler. Today we're gonna to look at an amazing floor plan. It's a 33 foot diesel unit built on the all new Delta Foundation powered by a 340 horsepower engine. Has a tremendous amount of storage, dual fireplaces, a full flat floor, and best of all, it's on a Aqua Hot hydronic heating system. And so here's the new Nautica 33 TL. This particular unit is a crushed exterior graphic. And now that is a double cleared unit. Gives about four to five coats of clear on it. You can't really see it now, but you'll really appreciate it four, five, six years down the road when this unit looks brand new still. And now let's talk about what the Nautica is built on. As you can see, we're utilizing the brand new Delta Founda Foundation. The Delta Foundation was engineered with strength and storage in mind. We have our dual fuel fills coming into the luggage compartments. As you see, we have a fiberglass lined bottom. Makes it so much easier to clean. You don't have to worry about picking wood chunks. If you spill your citronella candles, no big deal. It wipes out very easily. One of the greatest things on the Nautica is the storage in it. As you see, both of these doors open up for a tremendous amount of storage. And the great thing about it is there's no cross member in between. So this is where you're going to go to put your large objects. Coming directly above that, we have our exterior entertainment system. We have a 50 inch television with a sound bar above. Inside, more storage. Just notice how tall the storage is. And the Nautica is built on a Freightliner XCR. That's a raised rail chassis. And a great thing about utilizing Freightliner is they have mastered the RV chassis. One of the great components is V-Ride. What the V-Ride is doing is it's really stabling your unit. When you back over uneven surfaces out of your driveway, you don't have to worry about shaking your unit real bad. Also, it helps when you're in Tennessee, you're taking them curves through the mountains. You can take them with confidence now because if you don't have V-Ride, your unit will tend to drift. You want to drift outside your lane. This really holds you in solid. Our next compartment is our electrical. We have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. It is a pure sine wave, so now that way you know all of your electrical components on the inside are safe. And we have our inverter disconnect switch in here as well. And that switch does need to be on when you're operating certain components on the inside, such as your power lounge, your articulating bed, your fireplaces, your televisions. Coming to the next compartment, we just have a little bit of storage and we have access to our hydraulic four point automatic leveling system. And on the rear of the unit, you're gonna see a beautiful one piece fiberglass cap. We have our built in backup camera. And now that camera does have one way audio. This way your spotter can communicate with you. We also have a 10,000 pound tow hitch onto the driver's side. Our first compartment is our batteries. We have four six volt house batteries in the Nautica. Next compartment, we have our power cord reel. Now the power cord reel is an option. We have dual starting batteries and a 13 gallon depth tank. Moving up to the next compartment, it's our wash down bay. So we have an exterior shower it's a great spot to come and uh, spray off the camping equipment to spray off the dog's feet when they get into the mud. We have our low point drains. This is where you want to come when you winterize your unit. We have our full whole house uh, filtration system and they recommend that the filters be changed every 8,000 gallons. And you notice we have wedged tanks. Holiday Rambler and Rev is the only ones that put in wedged tanks. And we also have our knife valves down below. And that all can be locked in the luggage compartments. This next bay is a continuation of the other side. And just to reiterate how huge this compartment is. And all of your components are not setting on carpet that's going to stain and look very dingy in about six months. And one of the top features in the Nautica is this next bay. Here we have our Aqua Hot 250D. 
The Aquat 250D runs off the same 100 gallon fuel tank provided by Freightliner. There's no more need to fill up unnecessary tanks. That's one less thing you gotta worry about when you go camping, and that's one less thing you gotta worry about running out when you are camping. The Aqua Hot 4 or 250 is going to take care of all of your hot water needs. Now you can take your time, relax in that hot shower, and don't have to worry about running out for the next person. Also, the Aqua Hot is going to provide your heating. And when it provides heat, it provides a moist air. Typically, a propane furnace is going to dry out the air and you wake up all stuffed up. Here we have the other side of our dual fuel fills. And in the last compartment, we just have our windshield wiper fluid reservoir. And up top, we have a spare air chuck to use air if you need to pump up the kids' toys or if you're blowing out your luggage compartments. And above that, there's an emergency fill for your air too if you need to fill up your tanks. Our mirrors, we got large mirrors that are electric. They are heated and they do have the cameras mounted in them. The great thing about having the cameras up that high is you get a nice overhead view of what's beside you as well as they're not down below the belt line in the splash zone. A lot of the competition will still put their cameras down here. And when you're driving, they get loaded up with road grime and then they're not much use to you because you can't see out of them. As we swing around to the front here, underneath the front cap, we have access through the hood. We have a 6,000 watt Cummins quiet diesel generator. We also have our windshield wipers mounted up top. So when the windshield wipers come down, they're working with gravity and they shove all the water out at one time. That's the quick walk around of the outside. Let's jump inside and look at some of the features. We get lots of requests to show the unit all closed up in travel mode. So that way you know you have access to all your port amenities. As we come back, here's our access to our refrigerator. The door opens up almost all the way. And on the bathroom, the door does open up all the way. You have full access to the bathroom and that's because we have a pocket door. So now we no longer have a door that opens up that you have to squeeze in between. As we come back to the bedroom, as you can see, we have full access to our bedroom as well. And it is also on a pocket door. So now you know you have access to all of your important amenities. Let's open this thing up so we can see how beautiful the interior is. All right, take a second and take a look at how large this unit looks. It does not look like a 33 foot floor plan. Also, we have the Metropolis decor with the whispering wind wood in this particular unit. Let's start up front, take a look at the cockpit and look at some of the features. Okay, starting up in the cockpit, I have to start on these captain chairs, how beautiful and plush they are. The dual tone colors really give it a high end look. Another thing I want to point out on the armrest, how there is no buttons on it. That's something we're typically not used to, but last year, Freightliner really focused on safety and they did so by moving all of our shift controls to up here on the paddle. So the only thing you gotta do is turn the knob to drive neutral reverse for shifting, as well as if you wanna apply your engine brake, the only thing you gotta do is lift the lever up and down. Another thing up here in the cockpit that's huge on safety is the dual monitors. The monitor on our left is gonna be dedicated strictly to our cameras. So it can display our backup camera either camera that's integrated into our mirrors or it can display all three at the same time. The one on the right is dedicated to our entertainment as well as the built-in navigation system. And that is programmable to the size of the unit. So now you don't have to worry about going down them roads that you can't fit in. And that is also a huge safety feature. And if you think about it, when do you wanna use your cameras? In them high congested, high traffic areas. When do you wanna use your navigation? In them high congested areas and with a competition that have a single monitor, you have to pick one or the other. With the Holiday Rambler, you have access to both of those at the same time. The last thing I wanna talk about up here in the cockpit is the all electric digital gauge, and that is customizable, so you can display the gauges that are important to you. All right, the last option we're gonna talk about up here in the cockpit is the Hide Aloft drop-down bed. All Holiday Ramblers come with an option to have a drop-down bed put in, this particular unit is a 500 pound weight capacity. And great thing about it is the thickness of it. Inside this cabinet is basically teak slats that act as leaf springs or box springs, just like they do in a residential home. It really adds to the comfortability of the drop down bed. Now onto the living area. 
This particular unit has the motion power lounge put in it. Now that is an option. Standard in the Nautica is going to be a hideaway bed that pulls out for additional sleeping. Coming over to the dinette, we have our jack knifing dinette. Both seats have built in USB and 110 plugs in it. Very convenient for charging all your devices. And another thing I wanna point out with the dinette, we have the newly designed jack knifing. How easy these are to go down. You can convert this into additional sleeping in a matter of seconds while still maintaining all of our storage at the bottom. We have our television that's directly above it. And a great thing about this whole dinette area as well, we still give you a window. With, with a lot of the competition, if they're going to put their TV above the dinette, they'll delete that whole window. We still give that to you. Moving on to our accent wall, we have the beautiful textured glass, solid hardwood doors, all ozite lined cabinets, and they are backlit, gives it a nice look. Now the Nautica has dual fireplaces. We have one here on our accent wall, and we also have one in the bedroom. Okay, now over to the galley. We have a 13 by 60, 60 picture box window. It's a great feature because it really opens up this area and lets a lot of light in. We also have a shade. We have a dual burning induction cooktop, a convection microwave, and not to forget, we have a deep stainless steel farm style sink. All of our drawers are on 100 pound drawer glides. And now you're probably not gonna put 100 pounds in these drawers, but I see it a lot when you're down here getting something out of the sink and then folks will use the drawer to boost their self up. It's not recommended, but if something that, if that does happen, you know your drawers can handle it. Also, we have full length tile backsplash. This is real tile and it goes up the full length. Some of the competition will run a four to six inch backsplash. All right, moving back even farther, we have our residential refrigerator. It's a large refrigerator. It is stainless steel and it's also Whirlpool. So we do use high-end appliances in the Nautica. Coming over, we have our house controls. Now Precision Circuits runs our house controls. This is one centralized location to where you can come and have access to a ton of controls for your unit. Now there's other areas where you can turn on your lights and start your generator and run your slide out boxes out. But this is one area where you can come and you know you can control almost everything in your unit. Great thing is as well, a lot of the features that you can control on this panel can be controlled by your smart device by downloading the Precision Circuits app. Now where is that beneficial? One thing that I like to uh, use the mobile app for is when you pack into a tight spot and you need to run your slide out boxes out. If you don't have a spotter and there's a tree outside, you don't know exactly how much room you got. So you can pull up the Precision Circuits app, go around your unit and stand there and run the box out while you're watching it come out and see how much room you have from that tree. Moving on to the bathroom, one thing I wanna point out is the pocket doors. That's a great benefit because you do not have to worry about opening a door when the unit's closed up. It gives you full access to your bathroom. Starting on the left here, we have porcelain toilets. We don't use no ABS in any of our Holiday Rambler products. As you can see, we have tons of storage, a stainless steel sink with the beautiful tar, um, Surfex sorry, countertops. We have a 360 degree window treatment. And as far as the shower, it's full fiberglass, glass sliding doors. We have adjustable shower heads and we have a skylight inside, which adds a lot of light in as well as it gives you that much more headroom. Now that we're in the bedroom, we have a king articulating bed. The articulating bed is great. It's a great spot to set up in the morning, read a newspaper, catch up on the news, have a cup of coffee. We have USB ports and 110 hookups on each side of the bed. Actually, in this bedroom, we can plug in eight 110 devices and six USB devices at the exact same time. Right above the bed, we have a lot of storage. This center compartment is prepped for a CPAP. The light comes on automatically, and there's a hole routed in the bottom for your hoses. 
that's nice because you can have all your machinery up there the doors closed and not out in the open site over to the dresser side first thing i want to point out is all of the windows this lets in a ton of natural light as well as we take these units to some beautiful locations and it's nice to set up in your articulating bed and take on that view and but if you new, do need to block that light out and help the camera meter you can simply lower your blinds down coming over to the cabinetry in this first door we have adjustable shelving all european hidden hinges we have our second fireplace the first one's up on our accent wall and we have eight dresser drawers plenty of space to store all of our clothing our television is on a televator gives you the options for watching tv or you have that beautiful view coming over to the other side we again have either adjustable shelves or you can use it for a wardrobe with our clothes rack above this next compartment you can utilize in several different ways one you can do a full length wardrobe you can do two half wardrobes or as you can tell by the louvers this is prepped for a stackable washer and dryer so we can either put that washer and dryer in for you or you can have uh, the dealer do it at a later date and finally we have another full length wardrobe so as you can see we have plenty of space in this master bedroom to have all of our clothing the last thing i want to point out is our floor notice how it's a hundred percent flat floor no longer do you have to worry about waking up in the morning and tripping over a step up from an engine compartment and that's especially due to our delta foundation so as you can see this is a 33 foot compact unit but it's lacking nowhere in features if you found this video useful uh, hit the thumbs up button subscribe to our youtube channel and utilize the section down below in the comments if you have any questions thank you